and your hand on my neck is all it takes to make tears race to my eyes, to put my body on red alert, to let me know that I'm about to go insane and I'm going to like it. It's that simple. Yet of course your fingers going for the juggler will always be more com complex than I can ever describe, but I'll try. <coughs> it's the fastest way to get my attention, to snap me out of whatever meandering place my mind has wandered back to where it should be, on you. Forget about when you raise your hand to spank me or reach for my nipples to pinch them or even when you grab my arm to slam it down onto the bed or shackle my wrist to your bedpost, all of which you know I adore. Your hand on my neck is what makes me unbearably, almost impossibly, wet. Is it because you were my first? Is it because I trust you more than the others? Or is it because those tears that rush forth, the gasps that claw their way somehow to the surface, the panic that bubbles up from somewhere I've never even considered speak to me in a language deeper than words ever could. Sometimes, because you know me so well, because you know what it does to me, you do it while we're sitting across from each other at a restaurant. To an outsider, it probably looks like a light caress, like your hand could just as easily be stroking my arm, or come caressing my inner wrist, or smoothing my hair, tracing my lips light, innocent, easy, a loving gesture perhaps, nothing sinister or sadistic about it. And you could be doing any of those things, but you're not. You're wrapping yourself from thumb to forefinger around the expanse of my neck, pressing just enough to make my lips go slack, my breasts get short. Even if you're just hinting at it, that's where I go, that's what I want. You're telling me so much without saying a word, and my first instinct is to do what I do in bed, bend my head back, elongate my neck, shut my eyes, give more of myself to you. But we're in public, so I wait, and soon the moment passes. A couple can hold hands under or even above the table, or play footsie, stare deeply into each other's eyes, even kiss. But the intimacy of choking is probably pushing the envelope, even for Manhattan. Still, I think about it, even while waiting for my burger and fries, about how it feels when you press harder, when my throat constricts and the gas become sobs, and I want to thrash and struggle just so I can feel you clamp down harder. That's what happens when we're at home alone. We'll go from making out, giggling, me lying next to you, rubbing the wiry warm fur on your chest. One minute I'm kissing whatever part of you is closest, and the next you flip me over. Any clothes I might have been wearing disappear real fast. Your fingers are hard, strong, insistent, all ten finding my most vulnerable place and staking their claim. Actually, that may not be totally true. Five slam down against my neck, and I arch it on my back up to meet you, while other fingers slam hard inside me. Usually I like to talk, but I have nothing to say now, even if I can make more than sexy strangled noises. When I know, ones I know make both of us even more turned on. I don't get all 10 until later, if I'm lucky, if I'm good. <laughs> I want so many things at once, but I know you only have so many hands, so many ways to torture me, so I have to wait and see which of your methods you'll choose today. I've never told you this, but no one has ever made me want them to squeeze me right there so powerfully. I won't lie, I've had a hand over my mouth, had my head shoved into a pillow, been muffled or gagged by other lovers, but no one has ever made me want it like this. I wonder sometimes if there's some secret button inside me, invisible to everyone but you, that tells you where to press, where to lean, that makes me so wild, because I swear when you put your hand there, when your guy eyes go from easy to a, a little angry, if I dare to look, when your voice goes gruff and deep and sexy, mean and dark, when your hand becomes, for those moments, the sexiest of weapons, I would do anything for you. Okay. Um, that.